Welcome back, guys, to Fallout 4. I am jumping for joy because I think I may have solved a technical problem I've been having sporadically, but consistently. No, those two words don't go together. They, <laughs> you can't have both. You can't be sporadic and consistent. So sporadically, I've been having this problem of Fallout 4 crashing. And uh, what happens is the game will crash and I'll get a message from NVIDIA in the bottom right corner of my screen saying the display driver has stopped working and recovered and then when I load the game back up I just get a black screen and I have to restart the game in order for it to work properly or restart my computer rather and that is a big hassle and some people suggested that a black screen implies a heating problem so I did some digging with some Google searches and someone said they found a, uh, a potential fix by using NVIDIA Inspector, which is a program that lets you monitor the uh, the temperature and the how much load of the uh, the GPU and um, how much the fan is being used, all that kind of stuff, all kinds of information about your graphics card. And I started having this problem right after installing my second GTX 980. Um, so that seems like, and the cards are right next to each other, they're big, they produce a lot of heat. Uh, so, after installing NVIDIA Inspector, turns out that my system, or not my system fans, but the fans on the graphics cards were barely getting used, and my graphics cards were getting up above 70, 70 degrees Celsius. And right now, I'm monitoring both of them, and I've, uh, what I've done is I've manually set my fans, instead of automatic, I've set them to, to manual, and so my first... Graphics card fan has a 50%, and the second one's at 70%. My first graphics card is currently at 49C, which is fine. The second one is at up to 71 already, so it is definitely a heating issue. That fan is at 75%. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of building, and I'm going to monitor the situation and probably turn the fan up higher. Uh, 71C is not great. I would like to get it lower. Well, what we're going to do today, we've done some adventuring, and we've done some questing, and listened to some dialogue. We're going to do some building on the settlement here. Before we do even that, uh, we are going to level up. Bam! And I took a look at our chart. We're still waiting to get to, like, level 38 and 41 for a few other things, like gun nuts. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to take a rank of Scrapper. Because stuff like uh, circuitry, nuclear material, fiber optics, that's all good stuff. I could use more of that. Blam! Good. All right, let's exit out of there. So we are going to set up the power. And then after that, what I'd like to do with the settlement is get our farm stuff up off the ground. And so the power stuff's going to go over here on the right. The farm stuff is either going to go up there or kind of over in this direction. Let's see how much we can build. I would like it to be on a slightly different level, so we'll go up like one stairs and maybe even use a different material type. I would like to like it to look like it's hanging from here. We don't have that much space, but we have enough. And I don't want it all to be super flat, so I'd like to have like a little stair up or down here and there. Just to vary it some. Okay, what are we gonna do? So we need to build some walls first. And then uh, we need to move our power guys, which I have up here right now, over to here and then run some power lines. And I need to put the supports and all that kind of stuff. Let's take a look at the walls. Uh, my temperature of my second graphics card is 72C. I'm kind of wondering, I'm going to monitor it. And if it crashes again, then I'll know what the, what the temperature to avoid is, basically. Um, but I'll probably manually bump up the fans anyway, because it's... it's steadily increasing and it doesn't always happen so, so i don't exactly understand why maybe it's the building stuff freaks it out last time i was doing some building it freaked out a lot too maybe it's not uh, optimized probably okay uh do we want windows in our power section i don't think so so let's just do that and that and that Oh, yes. Experience. I'm going to have to go buy some concrete soon. You can see, actually, I've only got uh, 42 left. Yeah, I need to go buy concrete, like, right now, basically. I've bought concrete a bunch of times already. But it's not that expensive, so it's okay. Oh, that's not where it's supposed to be. 
Okay, let's go down here. Grab you. Put you there. And let's see. Okay, temperature, 74C. <laughs> I'm monitoring it. And now, one thing I'm not quite sure is how we're going to get the door to work. Oh, and now I'm out of concrete. So, uh, there are no... No doors for the concrete set that are not centered. Um, and this path is not... This path is off-center, and I couldn't quite get it to snap uh, with the center. Let's see, do I have any... Do I have enough to make one of these? No, the small one. Will that snap to the middle? No, it only snaps to the edge, but the doors are in the center. That's kind of a weird that it would be like that. But I think if we go... One of these will have a, like, a powered door option. All right, 76 C. See, that, that temperature keeps increasing. Um, I'm gonna, I'm actually going to let it, uh, f crash with the, the fans the way they are, because I want to see what temperature it is that is crashing in. Okay, so we've got a powered door. I think that'll work fine. Uh, and of course I will wait until we actually move our power guys up there. So let's do this. And I need to make sure to quick save it because if it does crash, I will lose my progress. So let's actually do that right now. Quick saving. Good. Okay, and then go back into the builder by holding down V. Grab these two. Sooner or later, I'll be able to tech up to the uh, nuclear power thing. So we will only, probably only need one power thing in here. I might just have to put something else in here or make it smaller or something. Because our, the size bar is filling up alarmingly fast. Yoinks! Okay, 77C. That's beginning to wear me. Let's, uh... Let's rotate this guy. From what I remember, the copper cables attached to this little thing. Let's grab you. Good. And then your cable is right there. I guess I have to make it... I'll either have... Oops. No, I didn't, I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to jump. Um, yeah, if I want to make this thing one story high, this little storage building, I'll have to swap to only these guys. I guess I could do that. Let's go take a look at it from the outside. I'll just pop down here. Okay, 77C. Oh, now it's gone down to 76. My fan is at 75%. I could pop it up to like 85 or 90. Okay, we need to do the uh, the corners there. I guess we can do that now. Oh, if I have enough concrete. Oop. Oh, I'm outside of the... <laughs> That's why it's not starting. I keep hitting V, and it's changing the perspective. Instead of going to this, because I, uh, I was outside of the area. So these things over here... Oh yeah, I can make two of them. Awesome. Yeah, but I'm going to go shopping anyway. And that's a good point to uh, maybe stop recording for a bit and monitor the temperatures and whatnot. So if there's a crash, it's a lot easier to recover from. Okay, I need to place this there. Yeah, man. On the corner. There we go. Okay. Um, oh, I had some stored. Oh, that's lovely. It's wondering why my concrete total wasn't going down. It's because they were stored. All right, good. And then, uh, yeah, I just need to get more to be able to make these supports here. So the basic structure is set up, and I swapped out the uh, the large generator for some small ones, so we can put a roof on that eventually. And now we're gonna string some wire, kind of try to keep it as hidden as possible at least for this first floor, underneath all the floorboards here with uh, those connectors there. And then we can do some things like add the power door for that. And uh, did I add, I think I was gonna have power doors for these two. We can also add the turrets, that should be fun. And I'm monitoring my temperatures. My first GPU is at 49C, my second one is at 69, so that should be okay. So we got four of them, they're all wired together. So now we need to go into the uh, the thing, like so, and then we need to, we need to attach the wire from here. I think I can do it this way, down through the floor to there. No, it does not like that. Hmm, 
Okay, I'm pretty sure if I put something that requires power, like right there, that it will uh, be fine. But it did not like going... Th Maybe the distance is too long. Let's put down a fifth uh, power generator guy. Maybe the distance was too far, although probably not the case. I could have sworn I went through floors and, and walls and stuff with the wiring in the past. And that, uh, that thing sh Oops. Yeah, it's not a very long distance, so I'm wondering, did it give me some kind of text that I didn't notice as to what the issue is? I wish you could sprint, by the way. I wish you could sprint while you're in this mode. Okay, so if I attach wire down to this guy, is it showing me... There's no, like, pop-ups or anything. Yeah, it just says red. Look at all around the screen. I don't see anything that says you can't do it. Okay. Okay, so exit out of that. Oh, now I can sprint. So let's try a few things. Uh, one thing we can do. I could put the uh, transparent floor with the wire mesh. That might work. I guess I could make a small hole in the floor. That also might work. Um, let's do this. Go back into here. Let's add one more generator. I'm probably going to add more eventually anyway. As we... Oops, this is the wrong one. As I uh, run out of power and I need it for other stuff. And once I... Uh, this is only going to provide five per. So I will I will run out of power doing it this way. But uh, sooner or later we'll be able to get that... This thing over here. The fusion generator, which provides 100. But I have to... Uh, it's the uh, the level for it. The... Uh, the the skill perk thing. Okay, put that to there. Okay, what if... Let's try this. Let's put a uh, an upside switch on the floor here. Let's... Okay, I don't want to jump up and down. Let's just confirm that it's a like a line of sight kind of issue. Maybe they patched that or something. Okay, so this works. Now, can I get it to go through the floor? Yeah, it doesn't want to go through stuff, does it? I think it used to. Maybe they changed it. I'm not sure. Okay, uh, so I guess what we'll do is we will... I guess make that transparent. If we get raided, I don't think that uh, raiders can do things like knock out our power. I don't think the game works quite that way. So let's do... Whoops. Let's do this. Hold down the button. Okay, and let's store that. Then go over here to structures. By the way, there's a there's a new barn structure, which I think might be part of the Point Lookout DLC, which I have yet to look into. We might head off to explore that uh, in the next few episodes or so. Okay, we want floors. But we want the mesh one. There we go. Okay. So uh, then how do I get rid of this? Just to store it, and let's store you. Okay, and now, through the mesh flooring, I might have to uh, move stuff. Okay, let's uh, let's go underneath and look to see where that's located now. Is it not there? Did it get deleted? It, maybe it got removed when I got rid of that floor. Okay, well, fine. That's jolly good. We'll just add a, uh, another connector there. I don't know what happened to it. Hopefully it got stored or something. So if I put it right there in clear line of sight through the mesh. Let's see. Maybe maybe it's faster to exit out of it. Yeah, it probably is faster to do it this way. Exit out of the workshop menu. Sprint back through to a quick save. What's my temperature at? Only 72C for the uh, second graphics card, which was the hot one. Okay. Space to attach wire. Aha! Okay, so it was a line of sight issue. Good. We got 25 power there. And then we should be able to string that. I don't know the max range. So let's just say there. Let's see if this works. Actually, we might be able to measure what the max is just by doing this. When it it'll probably turn from red or from just normal color to red. Looks like the distance is yeah, oh all the way out to there. Okay, that's pretty good. So, I think what I will do... Let's exit that. I want to 
Oh, I exited workshop mode. I want to grab this and put it... So that the wire is fairly well, fairly hidden. Okay, and then hook this back up. Yeah, okay, not too bad. Doesn't look too bad. Okay, then we'll need another connector up here. And I might, uh, I might just do it this way. Just to hide it a little bit more under there. And we will need it close to uh, that door, because that door is going to be powered. Don't want any unwanted uh, visitors here jumping off something. I don't even know how they get up there, but, you know, it's just for the, for this, for the appearance of the thing. Okay, awesome. That looks pretty nice. Now, let's try it out with a power door. That should be, that door should be close enough to that guy to receive power. They kind of get it within a certain radius. So come over here into structures, doors, and we have a number of options. So this is a power door. It requires one of our, what do we have, 15 total? Oh, God. Damn. <laughs> Fell off. Okay, sprint back around. There's a few different power door options, and they are off-center, which is good. What we need... Back to there. Okay, good. So we would do it like that. Let's see what else we got over here. Okay, this guy's centered. 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 Why no... Why no off-center options? Only the one? Okay, I guess we're doing that one. Way back over here. And how does that line up with our wall. Maybe, um... Hmm. Huh. Okay, let's move this briefly. I'm kind of wondering if it's going to be slightly not lined up properly. Just hang out there for a second, guy. Okay, turn around, please. Turn around, please. Turn around, please. Okay, it does not like being, uh... lined up that way. I guess it was snapping to this guy, and now he's not there. Oh, wait, there it was. Come on. <laughs> Quit it. Give me what I want. Okay, well, looks like we need to have this guy here anyway. Fine. And it's not exactly the right height anyway, but I think it might be fine. Requires... Okay, you're not getting it. Whoops. Oh, I see what happened. Uh, okay, um... Get out of that mode. <laughs> That's so annoying. Uh, okay, so what we'll do... Is I will move this wall out of the way. Just plop it down there for now. Hop over here. And... Oh, yeah, this guy's gotta be wired up. Like, individually. So for now, I'm gonna do it like this. I'll make it a little neater later. There we go. Okay, awesome. Grab you. Put you back. Okay, exit out of the mode. And we've got a powered door. It seems like in certain situations, raiders would be able to come up under here and shoot my generators. But uh, whatever, it's the best we can do. Can I close this now? How do I close it? Oh, do I have to hook up a switch? I might have to hook up a switch. To be able to open and close it, which means I would only be able to open and close it from the outside. Or would I hook up a switch? Maybe I could hook up a switch over here. But then I would have to run the the wires all the way back here. I think that's what's happening, though. Is that it's automatically open, because I don't see anything to interact with. Okay, let's just figure that out. I might be able to... What would be cool is if I could have a switch over there to open up this door... That would be neat. That would be kind of appropriate for the roleplay kind of aspects of this. So we need a connector. We need a switch. I've seen these. There we go. Switch. Okay. And then I want to select the wire. Uh, I want to select the wire. How do I select the wire? There we go. 
Store the wire. It closed. So then I want to attach that to that. Attach that to that. The door opened. Exit out. And... Aha! Cool. So it turns out I was remembering things a little bit wrong. Seems like only the lights can take part of the, the aura effect or whatever. They have to be a certain distance from one of these things. The actual turrets, we have to wire up manually, so it's super duper convenient. I had this little leftover space. I put this little board here, kind of just to be silly, just to get, so you don't fall through and break your leg or something, but it gives us this really nice little space for wiring stuff. So these guys, let's go into the... Uh, there we go. These guys each require two power, so that's going to take eight out of our 15. So yeah, definitely going to need more generators. This thing, this light, only requires power. Like, it just says lightning bolt. I don't think that means one lightning bolt. I think it means you just need power in your system. These things say requires two, but that could be wrong. I, I might have to test that with, like, 15 individual lights. But anyway, okay, so we need to power these guys up through the floor. So let's hop down here. And then we're going to move the switch so we can open up our power generator room remotely from our main security area. Okay, so this guy needs to get hooked up to which one? This one? Yeah, that one. And this guy needs to get hooked up. He's already hooked up to there. He needs to get hooked up to there. Over there. Okay, so now all my turrets should be on. And you see my defense jumped up to 32. So my happiness should start increasing. Okay. So everything's in green. That means they're, they're uh, receiving power and they're moving and stuff. Pretty awesome. Anybody that walks through here that's not a friend... Oh man, they're going to be in for a hard time. Okay, cool. Now we need to wire up this guy, the switch, and then unwire the other switch. So let's take a look at that. This guy, it's got to have his own set of lines. So we're going to wire you up to there, and then you up to there. Good. And then these two together. Did that go? Oh. There. Okay, lovely. And then this guy wired up to this one. Okay, so I should have two parallel lines all the way underneath. We'll have to swap out the wiring above. Pretty neat. Let's take a look. Okay, so... Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and trigger that. So when I wire that up to the door... It should reopen it. I went ahead and I removed the wall here so we could hop through. In case I uh, didn't... In case it doesn't work quite like that. But what I can do now is store that wire. And store that. Which I guess also stores the wire. And then hook this up to there. Okay, it does not work like that. Uh, still requires one power. So either it's not hooked up or I need to throw the lever or something like that. So let's just follow the, uh, let's just follow it. So the wire from there to there to there to under here, that all seems connected fine. <clears throat> so the power is set up and now I've got a spanky new, although it looks pretty crappy. <laughs> I wanted to go with a different visual style. Thank you. Shush. Shush. Uh, so I wanted to go with a different style with the farm building, and it's meant to look like it's sort of... It's hanging from the freeway there, so there's no supports for it. Okay, shut up. So the, the last few things I want to try out for the video is just to get some lights going, because it's kind of dark. I don't have a ceiling yet. We'll work on that once I know how we're going to get up. I'm going to build a staircase up to the top there. So I want to try out these spotlight guys and see if I have to wire them up. It looks like there's no spot for a wire, so they may just be uh, like the other lights. And just take the ambient whatevers. Okay, you're not on. 
Can I get close enough to you so we can see what the issue is here? Uh, let's press the down arrow. Requires power. Uh, okay. Um, looking through the wall. It's possible there's just not a connector close enough. Because I don't see anywhere to connect lights. And actually, if you mouse over it... Aha, uh -huh, it does want power. Okay, maybe we can uh, go through the wall, because we sort of stuck it through the wall. If not, I'll, I'll worry about that later. I wanted to put up some normal lights, but I figured I would try this first. No, that's not going to work. Okay, never mind. Uh, but we can do some normal lights. And I need to run some wire underneath the bottom of the, uh, the floor there. So we've got a few options. I think they added some new stuff with the uh, most recent DLC. They added, they added the barn. Let's just see what a few of these look like. Okay, it's not terrible. Then I've got a, uh, a traffic light, which is kind of dumb. They've got this one, which will go from the ceiling. Okay, just kind of getting an idea of what they look like. I kind of like those. Then fancy wall lights. I think I'm going to, after I get these uh, crafting guys to their final form up above there, I think I might turn this into a more like a leisure area with seating, like a pool table and stuff. So this type of light might make sense then. And this is all ceiling. I have a ceiling yet, so we can't only do the wall ones. Track lights, ceiling as well. Track light, ground, ceiling, or floor. Mirror ball? No. Okay, so I guess it's those four. And this guy that we already used. Right there. Which doesn't seem super bright. Alright, so let's first, let's run some connectors along the underside. And we don't have to worry about going through the floor, through the uh, wire mesh or whatever. Because these guys will just connect up with the aura of whatever. And let's just, uh, I guess I'm just going to run it, like, right through here at the middle. And then if it's not connecting up, I will add more. Okay, you're connected. Uh, and then you go there. Okay. Oh, I didn't defend Ten, fi ten Pines Bluff. Well, I don't really have a settlement there. I'm only going to defend this one. Don't really care. I got that message a while ago. Decided to ignore it. All right, let's see if the power is nice and juicy. Ah, oh, lovely. Okay, um... I think for now we're going to go with those wall ones. They look pretty good. Can I move this without... Yeah, let's put it over here without disrupting all of my bobbleheads. And we will get this one here. We've got... Tons of materials for this light, and it's nice and bright. That's good. Um, and then let's grab this guy. Let's put him over the, like, opposite the door, like, like that. And then we're going to move you maybe into this room. Some light in there. And we'll put you another guy right here opposite the door, opposite that other light. Lovely. Oh, XP. So much XP. Okay, and then let's, uh, I guess we'll move you. All of these crafting stations are going to get moved to my permanent area, which is going to be above the freeway. Everything below the freeway is for all my, uh, my robo buddies. Okay, and then let's just store that for now. Okay, we have some lights. Good. Do we have any floor lights I can put here in the middle? Just to amp up the, I guess, that one. That would go on the edge by a chair. Maybe I'll put my, give myself a chair somewhere. Well, that later. We'll do that later. Uh, any other floor lights that are of a decent size? That's way too big. Eh, that is too. That is too. That's too intense. All right, never mind. And then we, we're also going to need some lights up in here. This is where I'm going to plant the crops. Man, this place looks like crap. <laughs> that was kind of the idea. To give it a different feel. Here I do have a ceiling, so we can do some, some lights. The ones I think look pretty cool. Uh, if I can find them. 
They are three light bulbs in a row. Huh. Lights, lights, lights. Were they limited edition or something? Oh, they're here. Okay. That little graphic, uh, it only shows two, but this one has four. That's what I was looking for. Okay, but we are... I'm gonna have to run the wire up here. But we'll have them like that. And I'll show you what that looks like, because I put that in the power room. Oh, I didn't show you up the... Whoops. I didn't show you the wiring. I keep hitting the wrong button to sneak. I think uh, some other game has the opposite button. Maybe it's Minecraft with Sprint. That's what they look like. I put them in here. And I've wired up the uh, the gate so that it not only opens that door, it also opens this one. So they open and close simultaneously. Pretty cool. And then this one is set up on a switch too. I'm not sure if these guys will open or close that or not. Maybe I can set permissions. But we don't need to be going in there right now. So let's close that. And uh, I will wire up stuff. Anyway, that's it. That's the end of the episode. That's it. We're done skis. Uh, next time we might build more or we might go on some adventures. Stay tuned. See you later. Bye-bye. Beep, beep, beep.